Hello everyone, thank you for joining in today. Today we will talk about our Network Security Specialist program. Before I get into the details, very quickly about myself. I am an engineer like many of you. I have done my engineering 20 years back and since then I have been working in the industry as a Network Security Specialist. Some of the companies that I have worked with includes Cisco System, Juniper Networks. I've also had an opportunity to work in Australia for five years and then now I'm back to India. I've been in India for the last eight years. Now let's look at how career as a network security engineer is like. As a network security engineer, your responsibility is to make sure that all systems connected to the network is secure from all external as well as internal attacks. What that means is you'll have to know what kind of potential issues and attacks can come in. You need to be ahead in in any technology, um, a, a few steps ahead of all the attackers and hackers. And, and that definitely makes your life quite exciting as well as busy at times though. And um, this, this report shows, this is a report from US Bureau of Labor, and this report shows what is the prospect, job prospect of different kind of professionals. Now, as you see here, as an information security analyst or network security analyst, the number of job likely to increase by 37% in 10 years period from 2012 to 2022. And this is way more than any other professionals. Um, in fact, compared to even other computer professionals, it's almost 20% more. This is the result of a market study done by a market research firm called Frost and Sullivan. What this shows is, you see there are three charts and the bottommost one shows the supply of, of the information security professional. And the top line shows the demand. So you see that over the time, the demand and supply, the gap is widening. That means that there is going to be a lot more demand for network security professional or information security professional, whereas the number of available qualified people are 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 increasing, however they it's not increasing as fast enough. So as the gap widens, the more opportunity it's going to be for the people who are sufficiently skilled in the area of information security or network security. So that's that's another reason why actually network security is likely to be a very rewarding career. In fact, it's it's not a surprise considering the fact that um, most of the business are moving to internet and the security is becoming paramount with the with the with the with the progress of cloud computing with the prog progress of um, internet of things so that research really reiterates the same common understanding that that we have the content in this slide comes from a portal called payscale Payscale is basically an organization which does a study on salary ranges for different type of professionals in different countries. As you see in this slide, uh, network security professionals in US is paid quite hands handsomely. And if you compare with other professions in the IT, actually it's a few, a few thousand, quite a few thousand, 25K higher than an average IT profession salary. So that, that again shows that network security is definitely a demanding area. That's why um, the people who are working in network security field are paid much better than the average salary in the industry. The same thing you'll see in India as well. You can look for the same statistics in India going to uh, the website called www.payscale.in. I didn't capture that, but you can check it yourself. Now let's look at what skills are needed to become a good network security engineer. The first and foremost, you need to have very thorough understanding of how networks works, how systems works, how protocols and packets that comes to the network works. Why? It's because the attackers typically exploit some kind of weakness in, in the protocols or in the system. So you need to know how it works, what could be the potential weaknesses and how attackers might be exploiting them. And so that you can also know how to prevent that. Right? That's really the reason why you need to be really, really thorough about both your systems as well as networks and fundamentals. So your layer three networking is something that you need to know very well, routing, switching. Um, the viruses, malwares, trojans, these are the things that 
the, the many attackers uses. So you need to know how to stop them, you need to know how antivirus software works and what are the weaknesses in antivirus software. Um, then ethical hacking and, and different kind of threats and vulnerabilities and how do you prevent against them. All these are crucial skills of a network security engineer. And, at the, and also the firewalls, VPNs, IPsec ideas, these are some of the technologies and devices that you use as a network security engineer. So you need to be very, very thorough about the concepts and also about how to configure, implement and architect the network so that you position these in the right way to prevent all kind of network security attacks. Now let's look at who should be the typical candidate for this program. So typically the technical graduates and freshers are ideal candidate for this program. Why? It's because this is going to be a three months full time training program. So we need someone who is um, can devote these three months and also you should have some technical background so that you can learn a lot of stuff within short period of three months. And um, of course, in long run, network security is a field where you need to keep learning. You need to be very detailed and opportunity for making errors are very, very minimum. So you need to be someone who is um, detail oriented and also is learning continuously. And you need to be someone who ha has a good communication skill because communication skill is paramount in this industry. And it's likely that you will be working with people across different geographies. So here we have a very quick summary of the program. This is a three months full time training program. The trainer is one of the differentiator. He is someone who has 19 years of experience in the industry and um, uh, the, the course itself is designed by himself with his uh, so many years of experience in the industry. And then uh, there is going to be a lot of focus on understanding everything thoroughly and the fundamentals are definitely a key focus. Uh, the expert insight on troubleshooting methodology. Uh, basically, what happens as a networking professional is um, at some point you, you need to troubleshoot uh, things that is, that's not working. Now, um, of course, that's a skill that's very, very rare in the industry. So our trainer is, is known to be one of the experts in this area. So we'll put a lot of focus on troubleshooting. Now, placement is another go going to be the another key area. So definitely, uh, we want to work with you to make sure that you get placed in the industry. And there is, of course, a reason. I think we'll, we'll cover that very, very quickly. So this is the key feature, deferred fee payment option and the placement. So what are we going to do? What we expect is candidates pay a very bare minimum fee during the training. So you'll see what we are covering in this training in subsequent discussions, but you'll see that we are covering a lot of stuff in this training. However, the idea is we'll charge you the course fee of a, a just 10,000, which is going to be typical course fee of one module out of the five modules. And um, the rest of the expectation is you pay rest of the training fee at the, at the end when you get your job. So that's why um, the placement is going to be crucial. And what we know is if you actually learn the things that are being taught in this class well, then there is no reason why we will not get a job. So we'll work with you and make sure that you get placed so that you can pay us back rest of the course fee. So that's really um, the offer. And I believe this is definitely a very, very good offer to, uh, for, for anyone who are interested in the network security industry. So let's look at what are we going to cover in terms of course content. So the way course has been designed is we'll align it to some of the vendor certification, even though the course will actually contain many things beyond typical uh, training of a, of a vendor certification. Uh, the reason we thought we'll align it with the vendor certification is if you wish to, you, at the end of this course, you can go back and take the vendor certification exam with the knowledge that you gain here. Right? So um, the first thing we'll cover is Cisco CCNA contents. Why? Because CCNA routing and switching is kind of a foundation for networking so we want to make sure that you have those foundations and then CCNA security is basically Cisco's the base level security certification and then what we'll do is we'll move out of Cisco because the many real life deployments are multi vendor deployments whereas there are a lot of professionals with Cisco knowledge there are not many with other vendor knowledge so Juniper is one of the um, popular vendors and who are kind of number two in the industry so we'll cover Juniper JNCIA Junos and we'll also cover Gen CIS security contents. And Gen CIS security will, con will, will cover a lot of interesting concepts, not just the firewalls, we'll also con uh, cover some contents around 
um, what do you call is UTM, Unified Threat Management Concepts. It will cover a little bit about around ideas, IPSs, and how do you stop the detect and stop the attacks. And then we'll put a lot of focus on um, capturing the network traffic and analyzing them and identify what could be the potential attacks and this and also how to troubleshoot when something is not working and this is very very crucial skill where um, which you typically don't get in, in any other um, institutes and um, of course we'll cover different kind of security attacks vulnerabilities countermeasures and we'll align this partly with certified ethical hacking curriculum so that you get to understand different kind of attacks possible you also understand the fundamentals you also understand how to prevent those attacks so that you know you get a holistic education in the area of network security as you have seen in the previous slides network security is a very very demanding area and it takes a lot to become a network security engineer and in fact the reality is there is a big gap of the skill necessary to become a network security engineer and what is available in the market so the reason we are starting this program is we want to give candidates an opportunity to develop that career. I've been in industry for a very long time and one thing that consistently came out for, for me is when you want to hire a network security engineer, we never found people with the right kind of skill set. So the reason we have started this program is we want to um, help candidates acquire that skill and also the objective was to make it really, really affordable for the candidates. So what we are doing, we are offering the whole package at a training fee of just 10,000 that you need to pay at the time of the training. But what we are expecting, we are expecting that you will be completely committed to this training program and once you complete your training course, we will work with you so that you get placed in a company and once you get placed, actually you pay me back the rest of the course fee. So overall course fee is going to be 75,000, even then that's a very, very economical course fee. But having said that, you actually don't have to pay the rest until you get the job. So that's, that's really the offer and this is definitely a very, very exciting offer and I believe um, that you would not get this kind of offer anywhere else. So uh, my suggestion is going to be consult with your um, uh, with your friends and anyone who knows in, who has been working in the industry. And then you know what are you waiting for? Let's get started.